Welcome to today's video. I am so excited to show you two looks with the new Unearthly Cosmetics Fall Magic Palette. If you want to hear my thoughts about it and see the looks that I created, then keep watching and be sure to let me know your favorite look down below. If this is your first time here, I just wanted to say welcome. My name is Heather Eaglin. I love all things makeup, especially colorful makeup and indie brands. If you love those things too, I really hope you will subscribe and click the little bell so you can be notified of all my future uploads. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. This palette retails for $72 and just a little description. It says, immerse yourself in the captivating colors of this fall season with this exquisite palette featuring 12 stunning shades. This palette has six mattes, three multi-chromes, two duochromes, and one metallic, and it is absolutely stunning. And I also wanted to show you swatches with the flash and without, so you can really get a good look at the shades. I'm going to try to go back and forth and explain what I'm doing along with talking about the formula of this palette. Let me just start off by saying that my thumbnail and the description that Unearthly Cosmetics has of this palette truly says it all. This is incredible. I am truly captivated by this. It is just amazing and I think by the end of this video you will think so too. So I just started out using a small shader brush from Moda and I picked up the shade Forage. This is such a gorgeous murky like greenish yellow shade. I absolutely loved it and I just placed that in my inner crease. And now I'm using a Sigma E54 and I'm picking up the shade Spice and I'm basically just placing the shades where I want them for now. Many of you may already know if you've been here for a while, but I started purchasing Unearthly Cosmetics last year, and that's really when I fell in love with them. I bought the Halloween releases they had, all except for War Warms My Blood, and I wish I would have gotten it now, but I've fallen so in love with this brand. I love everything about them, the formula, the color stories. The tones that they pick for their eyeshadows, they're truly unique, and their liquid lipsticks too. But they're a very unique brand, which in this saturated market of makeup, that's not an easy feat. But when I say that they have truly outdone themselves with this collection, with all of these Halloween releases, the Devour palette, and the what I'm talking about here. I also have Sorcerer's Smoke. I haven't filmed with that one yet, but I would be freaking shocked if it wasn't just as good as these because their quality is always consistently amazing. But what I'm trying to get with all of this is I never thought that they could ever outdo themselves, but they have. I'm pretty sure this is a different formula in these palettes the, sh the shimmer shades are anyways the mattes are so buttery smooth and so blendable and pigmented they are truly amazing like but the shimmers they're so hard to describe it's almost like when you touch your finger in the pan they feel like they turn from a powder to a cream and I've never seen anything like that. It's like a cream to powder usually or, you know, just a powder. But these ones feel like they start out as a powder. And the more you touch them, they turn into a cream. But when you place them down, they turn back into a powder. It is the most crazy thing I've ever seen. But they are so freaking incredible. And so sparkly. And one thing that I love about the, these shimmers is they're so like, they're not chunky. And usually you can't get spark sparkly without it being chunky too. But these are so smooth. It's so hard to describe. I cannot wait to play with Sorcerer's Smoke next. Okay, so to get caught back up on the look, I used a medium blending brush. And I just 
picked up more of the shade Spice and I really smoked out my outer crease with that color. And then I used my Sigma E38 Diffuse Crease Brush and I picked up that really murky green shade called Forage and I just used that to blend out the shade Spice. And then I went back into my Moda Small Shader Brush and I picked up that really dark matte green. It's called Earthy in the palette. And I just put that in my outer corner. And then I just used a small blending brush and I picked up more of that shade Earthy and tried to diffuse that into my outer corner and up into my crease. I like packing shades on first with a smaller amount of product that way you don't accidentally apply too much. It just works better for me that way. And then I'll go back in and if I want more, I'll just use a bigger brush. And then I grabbed another medium blending brush and I picked up more of that shade Spice just so I could really blend in the that dark earthy shade. I wanted a smoother blend. So I usually go back and forth in between the darkest shade I used and the one I used prior to that and I just find that it gives me a seamless blend and then I used a small blending brush and I just picked up that murky green shade forage and I put more of that into my inner corner I wanted it to be a little brighter and concentrate the darkness on the middle and end half now I'm going back into the shade Earthy with my Singe Beauty E01. I love this brush because the way that it's shaped, you can kind of put it on your lower lash line or, you know, depending on how you hold it. I really just love the shape. But I'm putting that on my lower lash line, still trying to catch up here. And then I'm using that small M Moda shading brush and I picked up the shade Forage to blend that out. And then I used a really small shading brush and I picked up the shade Branch and I just put that on the outer corner of my lower lash line and up in my outer corner on my lid. Now I've just applied my NYX Glitter Glue and I'm using a BH Cosmetics Flat Shading Brush and I'm picking up the shade Enchanting and I'm just placing that in the front half of my inner corner and about halfway through my lid. This is one of the multi-chromes in the palette. You can't really see it but right now, but you'll be able to see it when I show you the close-up. This is a bright pink that shifts from like gold to green. It is freaking stunning. And honestly, there couldn't have been a better name for this if I'd have named it myself. And now I'm using that same brush and I'm picking up the shade Leaves. This is the metallic in the palette. I just can't describe the formula of these shimmers. You just have to try it to find out for yourselves. But it's incredible. I put that on my lid in a diagonal like that. I find that that shape looks better on my um, eyes, the way they're shaped. But then I just went back in with my medium blending brush. And I didn't add no product. I just kind of smoked that into that shimmer shade, the matte. And then I went back into the shade Branch with my Sinja Beauty E01 and I just deepened up the outer corner just a little bit. I have a bad habit of always taking my shimmers in, out farther than I want them to. But then I just used my finger to pick up more of that shade Leaves and I put that on the edge of the mat. Now I'm just using my Get Groovy Unearthly Cosmetics Highlighter. This was from the Large Summer Mystery Box. I will have that and all of these products linked in my description down below. But I think mixing these two together for this eye look was such a great idea. It really went so well with it. And I'm just so excited for you guys to see the finished look. I think it turned out beautifully. This look is more neutral than I typically go, but if I'm going to go neutral, it's going to be with these tones. They are absolutely beautiful. Now I'm using a small flat shader brush and I'm going into that shade crisp. This is a duochrome. It's, it has a white base and it has shifts of teal, purple, and blue. It kind of reminds me of an iridescent shade. Here is the finished look. I just had so much fun with this. I wanted to add a little of this as highlighter, and I think that was a great idea. This is the shade Crisp, 
And I think it looks so freaking stunning. And here is an up close look. I absolutely love this. Do you see all the glitter and the sparkliness? It's just beautiful. And I think with the liner, it really added a lot to the look. I love the color that this eye look made my eyes. I think it's so pretty. But now I'm just showing you everything I used, which was the highlighter from that large summer mystery box. I also use this Laura Lee Los Angeles blush aesthetic palette. I love it. I do have it linked, but it's currently out of stock. But I also use my Unearthly Cosmetics Fiery Lip Liner and my liquid lipsticks in the shades Gnarly and Gianna. And I use the Psych Lip Gloss. All of those products were also from that mystery box with the exception of the lipstick in the shade Gianna. Now it's time for look two. I love this one too just as much. For my cheeks today, I used the blush and highlight duo from the Unearthly Cosmetics Devour collection. I really enjoy the highlighter in this. And I love the blush too, but the highlighter is my favorite. For liner, I used the Unearthly Cosmetics liner in Vamp. And I used the lip oil in the shade Ruin. This is such a great formula. And if she comes out with this as a single... I would jump right on it because this is a great lip oil and it's beautiful, but I will say that the collection is worth the money as well. Now I'm using a BH Cosmetics medium blending brush and I'm going into that pink shade Cozy. It is so beautiful. I really love the tone of this pink. It's not your typical pink, but it's also very bright and I just think it's beautiful. Now I'm going in with the Singe Beauty EO3 and I'm just using that to really blend out that pink shade and I'm just picking a little more up as I go. I'm telling you, these mattes are effortless. They are so beautiful and rich in pigment. I know I've already said that, but you just, you don't know until you know. I can't wait to do a makeup bingo with the Devour Collection and the Fall Magic and Sorcerer Smoke. And I also can't wait to use the Fall Magic with the Devour. I think they're going to be so freaking gorgeous together. All three of them will. I'm just excited that I own them. And now I'm using that BH Cosmetics Medium Blending Brush. And I'm just going into the shade Snug. And I'm slowly just putting that color on as I'm blending it out until I get the level of depth that I'm happy with. And now I'm going back to my Singe Beauty EO3 and I'm going back into the shade Cozy and I'm just using that to really blend out that previous shade. I mean, you can see how well these are blending out. And now I'm using my Sigma E54 Medium Sweeper. This one came in my Corda Rosa palette. It's one of my favorite brushes in my collection. But I am just using that to pick up the shade Snug. And I'm really packing that on where I want it to be. And then I will go back in with the shade Cozy to really blend it out even more. You know I love a dark dramatic look. I can't help myself. But now I'm picking that BH Cosmetics shade back up and... Like I've said before, I'm just going to use that to blend out that deep shade snug. It's so beautiful. I just love this palette so much. You guys are going to have to let me know what, which are your favorite looks down below. I've just had so much fun with these. Now I've picked up more of that shade snug with this brush. And I'm just using that to blend it into that light pink cozy shade. Because I'm going a little deeper. Basically, I'm just going back and forth in between those two colors. And I'm just using that same BH Cosmetics brush because where these are, you know, in the same color family, it's fine to use the same brush to blend out. And actually, it can be very helpful as well. And now I'm going back in with that Singe Beauty EO3. And I'm just blending more on that shade Snug with the shade Cozy. And now I'm using my Sigma E30 pencil brush. This is my favorite pencil brush in my collection. Anyways, I'm picking up the shade Branch and I'm deepening the outer corner up even more. I told you I can't help myself. 
and I'm really just concentrating the shade on the outer V. And now to blend that out, I'm using this BH Cosmetics Medium Blending Brush. And I'm just going over the very edges of that to try to make it seamless and smooth. And now I'm using my Singe Beauty E01. It's that really cool brush I mentioned earlier. And I'm picking up the shade Cozy. And I'm just sweeping that pink into my inner corner to try to brighten it up a little bit and make the blend go from the inner corner to the out along with uh, like from the lower lash line and up. I just think the blend on this eyeshadow is incredible. I was so proud of it. And now using the same brush and that same shade, I'm picking up more of the shade Cozy and I'm just putting that on my lower lash line i kind of kept the color combo the same on from top and bottom sometimes i forget to just do easier color combinations i'm always trying to figure out like the next best color combo and sometimes i think looks are better when you just stick with the more simple vibe of it this is a really small uh real techniques smudging brush and I've just used it to pick up the shade snug and I'm blending that close to my lower lash line my eyes were not working with me yesterday I've done like six eye looks in the last two days so my eyes are like raw and watery I have such bad allergies anyways so I'm sad because my liner didn't really work out for this because nothing wanted to stick and it drove me insane. But now I'm just using the Singe Beauty E01 again and I'm just blending out that shade Snug with the shade Cozy. Now we're going into my NYX Glitter Glue. I don't know if Unearthly Cosmetics has a glitter glue. If they do, leave it in the comment down below. I guess I could go look, but it's hard for me to get on that site without wanting to buy everything. I do own a lot from the brand, but I don't own everything, so I'm still very tempted. Now I'm just using a flat shader brush from Morphe. It's a 224, yes. And I'm just picking up that shade Enchanting. I used it in the first look. I didn't realize that I did that. I didn't mean to use the same shades in the two different looks. But the shade is Enchanting. So it's not entirely my fault. It's that um, multi-chrome with the pink base and the green and gold shimmer. It's so freaking stunning. And using that same brush, I'm picking up the shade Change. This is another multi-chrome. This one is a pewter purple that shifts from pink to green. Every time I say pewter, all I can think in my head is pew, pew. If I can find a meme, I'm going to insert it here. Pew, 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 pew. Now I'm using my Singe Beauty E01, and I'm picking up more of that shade Cozy, and I'm just putting that into my inner corner because I took my shimmer shade up a little higher than I intended to. And now I'm going back into my Sigma E30 pencil brush and I'm picking up the shade Snug and I'm just re-intensifying my outer corner trying to blend those mattes into the shimmer and oh my god I'm excited for you guys to see the finished look so much. I would typically say that we don't need everything. You can typically shop your collection and you know dupe the palette but I'm going to be honest with you. You cannot dupe this palette. You can't. Like, I have a huge collection, close to 130 palettes, a ton of Cleona singles, and multi-chromes from other brands, and you can't dupe this palette. It's freaking gorgeous. You might be able to get the same vibe with other stuff, but when it comes to the formula of these mattes and shimmers and the special shades in this palette, you can't dupe it. And now here's an up-close look of it. It is freaking gorgeous. And look at that lip oil, too. I think this color combo is beautiful. It makes my eyes look so blue. This whole palette does. I love it so much. But, yes, this is the finished look. Be sure you guys let me know which look was your favorite down below. I honestly can't choose because I love them both equally. I can't wait to film my two looks with the Sorcerer's Smoke palette, but my video that I should be posting on Saturday will be with the Friday the 13th collection from Glamlight, 
and then Monday's video should be the Sorcerer's Smoke. If you can't tell already, I highly recommend this palette, and as I said, everything will be linked in my description box down below. Here's a little sneak peek of the Sorcerer's Smoke. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. Subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, bye! Yeah.